Okay, hey guys, uh, what's up? So today uh, it's going to be a different video because I'm not going to be either performing a magic trick or teaching any tutorials for magic tricks. Instead, um, I want to make a video um, uh, for anyone who wants to um, or who's planning to apply for a uh, Bachelor of Music degree, commercial media and writing option at Cal State University Northridge. All right, because I I think this video is like really necessary because like, I was um, actually like um, spending my time just like scrolling like scroll, like scrolling through all the videos online and then they didn't give me a, give like a specific um like directions on how to prepare for the um auditions and interviews so i want to make this um video for those um anyone like who wants to apply uh, at this like area at um csun so before i get started yes i got accepted uh, i re received an uh, mail uh, just like showing that i got uh, yeah, accepted into both university and um, the music option, and I'll talk about that. Um, that this is kind of, this is really necessary to get into both university and um, also Northridge, um, the the BM option degree, right? So, anyways, uh, let's get um straight into it. Now, the first, like before even your audition, right? You, the first thing you have to do is pre prepare a portfolio for uh, the um, commercial and media um, faculty members. Now, this portfolio is a three composition of a contemporary music that you can make. Now, the genre of music doesn't really matter. It can be um, like ballad or it can be like a pop or jazz or rock or classic. It doesn't really matter as long as... Um, as long as you understand what kind of music you're making and then what kind of like story you're telling through music and then as long as like you have the um your correct structure for the music you're pretty much um good to go so all you i think you have you have to like create and three um composition score plus the three audio files that goes along with this um the score and then you basically have to either submit it to the faculty members or you can just um put it into your usb drive and then just give it to them um during your um, audition dates All right so that's the first thing you have to do and then the second part of the audition is the actual um audition now when i was uh looking for an audition process on the um on their um school website it didn't give me a specific direction on like what to prepare like for audition. So, so I pretty much like a week before my audition, uh, I know this is kind of late, but it, it was because like um for other um, music school that I applied, I was preparing for um, uh, jazz music because like, they required me to play either jazz or like, contemporary music. So I had to choose jazz, but for Cal State Northridge, uh, you, yeah, so I, I, have to, I have to like email the, um, the clarinet uh, or the band, um, the 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 director of the uh, the band um, faculty member. He's also an like um, a director in the band. Also a wind uh, faculty member. But yeah, and so I emailed him and he told me that I have to prepare um two contrasting um classical solo repertoire. So I I play um clarinet. So I prepared I prepared um. The first section of the 32 Rose Etude, uh, which you can get any um, music shop, or you can even get it on Amazon, I think. Oh, not pretty sure, but I'll try to find it and just leave in the link below if you want to use that book. It's actually a really um, great book to learn, like not not just to learn like different um like um like just pieces that's in the book, but it's also like a great book to learn like different like techniques um on a clarinet. And the second piece that I chose was the um the Mozart Concerto, which is a really well known, famous um piece. And it's it's really great. Like, just go go ahead on like on like online, 
something and then just listen to it. It's, it's actually great music to, to listen to. Yeah, but for that, you if you're preparing for a concert, you, you don't have to play um full the full movement. I only play like the first movement of it, uh, which is um allegro, right? Uh, so yeah, those those two, and then he also uh, told me to prepare um up to three flats or three sharps major scale, which is like A major and E flat major respectively. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I start practicing like, and week before um the um the audition. So yeah, I had to practice like a lot, like at least like five five hours a day, because like. You know the the directions wasn't clear on their website, so I pre yeah pretty much had to email him and started practicing like a lot, lot, lot. Yeah. And then uh, once you get into um, or I or actually like the two to three weeks before your audition, they actually send you a lot of information about the um the audition times and then the audition rooms and stuff like that. And make sure you keep track of that, and make sure you um, print out the PDF of it. They even like tell you on the email to print out PDF because they don't want you to have uh, like a digital copy of it. Otherwise, like you know, things can get can get lost. So yeah, make sure you have a digital copy because um, when you go to the audition, um, the the audition place, because because you, you want to show the um. The, the audition room number to the um, the administration office and then they're gonna pretty much direct you where to go so yeah just smash just make sure you have a physical copy of it okay so, and then so at the uh, audition place so the audition place it, it opened at um eight o'clock and my audition time was at nine forty so I got there at like eight I was like eight thirty. Yeah, so I got an 8.30 to uh, sign up, um, to like, to check in for my, um, audition and stuff like that. And then, so, and then, so it was like 8.40ish then. So I had enough time, which was an one hour, of course. So I had enough time to, um, really, uh, warm up on my instrument with, like, chromatic scales, long tones, tonguing, exercise, fingering, exercises, scales, and then just going over, like, what... I need to like work on for my two um excerpts. Now, uh, yeah, just make sure you're like well warmed up and well like just 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 know like um what to play and um and you'll be um perfectly fine. So uh, and in the audition room, uh, so they the faculty members. So, so there were two faculty members, which was one of them was a clarinet faculty member because I play um clarinet which is my main instrument and then um and the other faculty member was from like a the band director and then he was also in the wind uh, department yeah so while I was like playing on my instrument they were taking like notes about how my about my performance stuff and then they told me that they that I was like doing I was I was performing actually very well so, so. So I was actually glad that um to hear um the comments because for me because I thought I was really bad because like you no know, I got very nervous and then you know my hands were not moving very well and my um, airflow was not moving very well also so yeah but they told me that I was like playing very well so I, so I was assuming that it's like a good sign or I guess so. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, um, <clears throat> yeah, I have to clean up my throat. <clears throat> yeah, but the audition process is not too bad. But the only thing that they didn't require me to require me to play was the scales, and I'm assuming that because I had some like um, like prior musical knowledge through um, my composition, and they also asked like few questions about like what music activities uh, I've done, and then they also like asked me if I'm doing tutor, and. Yeah, I think there was just like two questions that were asked and that basically told him that like, yeah, I I have a clarinet tutor that helps me prepare for uh, any just like music stuff and then also have done like a lot of music activities at school and, and outside of school. And then uh, they pretty much was like surprised 
as I think that, that kind of like impressed them maybe. So yeah, just make sure like um, just even though you get you will be nervous a lot, just kind of relax because like they're not gonna like, yell at you or they're not gonna like scream at you or like, they're not gonna like judge you so bad. Just don't worry about it. Just relax and everything is just going to be fine. And then the next part uh, of the audition was like the interview. Now, I think the only the only way. To, the only tip that I can give you for the audition is just to be yourself. Like, don't try to like memorize like what you're gonna say, cause that's gonna be um very tough, and you're just gonna forget like what you're going to say. Like, it's probably best to just to like outline some like few points of like what you're gonna say, but you don't have to like say like exactly word for word, right? The so the some of the, like few questions that um so. I think Clinton Rushage was my uh, the prof the professor that did an interview with me, and he basically the first question he asked was like, "Oh, like you could have gone to like any other um, Cal State schools, but why did you decide to uh, come to uh, um, Cal State Northridge for this um, program?" And then I basically told him that, like, so this is how I respond, right? So I I said like, "Well, since I've been like playing um." many different instruments and you know I also have been listening to a lot of like film music and I wanted to like um, apply all the musical knowledge I learned from those instruments to the film music uh, since they bring the two aspects together and I was searching for like different music schools and I turns out that Cal State um, Nocho was preparing well for, for my um uh, for for me and because they have really good programs they have different variety of like courses that are offered so yeah that's how I responded and then he basically just like agreed with my um, point but I think like don't even, don't actually but use my um what I said because it may be different from your experience it's because it's everything is just about like you know experiences like so it's just best to be like yourself right as long as um, you're confident of answering that question and be yourself, you're going to be fine. Like if you if you're not sure, like if you're gonna what to say or like how to respond, like it's always best to do a research about the faculty members and um, the school itself. All right, and then the other questions were just like it wasn't like it wasn't very like this. So the question they were just it was just like like what um program like what like the AW you use uh, what are some famous like film composers you know yeah those were the only two questions that he asked me and then other things were then yeah nothing else so just like just know like oh, the only thing you have to know for like the the interview is just like just be able to answer like why you want to attend. Cal State Northridge for the BM option of commercial media and writing. Right? So I think that's it for my um the tip there. So it to to be honest, like the the audition process and the interview process wasn't like too like too hard like because I because I have done like other um auditions at other colleges as, as well. So I think because of that, I, like, I, I didn't get too nervous to the point where I wasn't able to like talk or perform, but because just just try to just be yourself. Like there, the faculty members and the professors were actually really nice to me. Like they were very, they were very welcoming and like they didn't really judge me harshly. So yeah, just don't worry about it. Like. You'll be fine. Just make sure, like, um, at least like a two months or two two to three months in advance. It's best to like contact them to do to make to double check the audition process. Cause like I heard that like for some, um, for other like instruments like the other like, um, faculty members they had the students play like jazz piece. So I was yeah I, I was I got a little bit scared like during the audition because like I heard like yeah some people would think jazz so 
and just make sure you double check on email okay <clears throat> but other than that i think that's my um that concludes my uh, video on how to prepare for uh, Kelsey Northridge uh, edition. So I uh, hope you find this video helpful. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll put all, all the resource link where you can get more information about this. So yeah, that's it for uh, this video. And I'll hope you do well uh, on the audition. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time.